All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to a very Portal Christmas. Uh, we're still playing Portal 2. I believe we are on chapter, I don't know, maybe 8 at this point. Um, maybe about... Um, we're close to being one third of the way done with the game. Um, what only took three minutes to load in? Is there- are we having technical difficulties? Okay. But, um... I hate chat lag. It takes forever. Um... Let's- let's get the actual uh, game up, shall we? There we go. Looking nice and pretty. Okay, okay, it was Twitch. Is Twitch being laggy tonight? Oh, no, it's on your end. Okay. Um, oh, almost forgot the camera. There we go. Now you can see my pretty face. Is it pretty? I guess it's pretty. I'm saying it's pretty. All right. So, um, without further ado, I think let's get right back into it. Um, I would like to make it to old aperture by tonight um let's see it's the 15th we've got 15 more days approximately 16 to be exact in the month um yeah like i said i'm gonna need a lot more time for the other two games seeing as how i haven't played those um right okay so we just finished escaping from glados and actually what i did right here is um I put these portals here so you can get a better look at the character model for Chell. Is it Chell or Shell? Because I pronounced it Chell for a really long time. Or, I pronounced it Shell for a really long time, but somebody told me it was pronounced Chell. I, I frankly have no idea. But yeah, ooh, look at that infinite portals. Actually, how far back can you... That does go back pretty far. It looks like it's infinite. But it's probably only said... Uh, sorry, 7, I think, was the max they could render. Hard sea, shells, and chocolate. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there was a character in, um... What's it called? Um... Road to El Dorado, where they had a character named Chell, and I think it's a hard CH. Whoop! What was that? Oh, there you are, Wheatley. Okay, not moving. It's very dark and spooky back here. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff. The robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their weapons. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not. I feel that turrets just screaming for no reason. Wee! Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Look, we're at the intro screen. Except the intro screen is now deadly. Wait, where do I get off here? Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story. Well, I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but 
But uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism, ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's a no, it's like smelly. Just, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. Where is Wheatley? Wheatley, I've lost you. You're my light. Where did you go? Uh, oh, he's all the way up there. Yeah, so sorry for not talking a lot. Um, I don't want to talk over any of the characters, and Wheatley talks quite a bit. He talks a lot, actually. He talks a lot, a lot. It just keeps going and going and did I No I didn't. Ah. There we go. Thank you, Wheatley. Hello, welcome Ryan. Okay, there's another wall over here. Over oh there. I don't remember this level being so dark. Their, their folklore. Oh, and now we can see some turrets being built. They're, they're so much cuter in this game than they are in the first. Oh, um, also, uh, let me know what the volume is like. I think I have it up higher than last time. You do that, Wheatley. Yeah, technically, couldn't I just jump down all the way? My longfall boots would catch me, but maybe they, um... Oh, no, wait. I forgot that's an infinite void down there. Um... Uh... Right, I want to get over there. Oh, the volume's good. Okay, good. And here we are. It just says factory. This is where the turrets are made. Did you just call me Feeny? Or no, okay, Feeny's here. Okay. Hello, Feeny. Welcome. For a second I thought you were calling me Feeny, and I was like, wow, okay. Wow, we've got like a whole four people watching! It's a new record! Yay! Oh! There's the- Where is- Wait. Oh, I have to- I forgot I could use my portal gun. Wow. Yeah. Where I didn't I didn't miss it already, did I? No, where is Because the turret we were saying hello to earlier. Yes, Ryan, I did read that comment in your Tommy voice. Did I miss it? Or no, it's on the next line over. Um Right, no, because the turret that was said hello to us very early on in the game before we woke GLaDOS up, that turret is on this line, I believe. There it is. Right, okay, now we just need to... No! Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. Yep, someone at Valve really hates birds. Also, the, uh... Don't make lemonade and get mad. 
Uh, and the answer is beneath us. All references to um, later uh, things. Um, oh, and her name is Carolyn. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much this spouted. Um, come on, go upright. Alright, so I'm going to leave you here where you're safe. Because if I take you through that containment field, it's going to kill you. Ah, there we go. Open window. Ah, gotta be careful. Don't get shot. Yes, the defective turrets are quite lovely. Oh, I think I can catch one. Oh, didn't quite get it. Oh, I'm supposed to catch one anyway. I forgot. Okay. Okay, so if I can... I don't want to turn around quite yet. See? There. He hacked it. By... Bashing into it. Ah, it's flooded. There, do us proud, little buddy. Classic, absolutely ledge. Wait, where did he go? I didn't see- oh. <laughs> it's- it's really tempting, to be honest, just to let- like, cause like, if you don't progress and you just let Wheatley do his thing, he will go on talking forever. And I would love to do that, but... Employee daycare center. Wait, is this daycare? This doesn't look like daycare. Just looks like office desks and a projector. It is so dark back here. I really don't remember it being this dark. Uh, let me just turn up my brightness. Oh, that helped. I forgot I had... Uh, oh, I am supposed to go back there. Um, yeah, I forgot I had my brightness on my TV, uh, TV, I wish I was playing this on a TV, on my computer. All the way down. Ah, yes, potatoes. Potato power. Veggie voltage. 
uh, electricity from a potato. Yes. Wow. Totally. I like this one. This one is spunk to it. Uh, potato battery, not a lemon. Uh, I get the joke there. Right, right. And is that a combustible lemon? That looks like a dangerous lemon to me. Baking soda volcano. Well, you know, at least it's not a potato battery. I'll give it that. But it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Not exactly primary research, even within the child sciences. <laughs> the child sciences. Uh, this one looks a little fancy. Oh, look! Anything is possible with science. Yep, and there's a very lovely drawing there and some nice cursive. Obviously put in a lot of work there. And... I don't see that as a bad thing. Potatoes are great. Let's see. Materials. Special ingredient from Dad's work. With a little Aperture logo on there. Um, uh, now supposedly... Yep! Look right there! Look what it says! By Chow. So... This spawned off so many fan theories. Um, the most prevalent one being that Cave Johnson is Chow's dad. Um... I don't really, um agree with that particular theory but this is undeniable proof because Chell's not a common name right so it only stands to reason that it's got to be Chell the player character the the test subject that we're playing as right now but it's bring your daughter to work day what if Chell is Chell's dad um Chellception um but so you have to assume she's a child at this point, right? But these were left here from the day that, that GLaDOS flooded the entire building with neurotoxin. Um, effectively killing everybody. Um, she could be a clone, that is true. Um, oh, hi Sophie! Yeah, I just started streaming. Uh, it's, um, first big stream series. Welcome. We've got a whole five people now! That's a new record! Right! Um... What was I saying? Yeah, so she should have to be a child at this point. But we can see from the, uh, player model that she's obviously an adult at this point. Um... Now, her last name is Redacted, which... does... make it interesting to think that who knows, maybe... Maybe she's Ratman's daughter, maybe... No, he would have recognized her. Or would he have, because she's grown up now. I don't know, they put a lot of people into cryostasis, so she could have been, um... Um... What's it called? She could have grown while she was in stasis. Um... But I don't know, I don't know. Um... There weren't any other real hints besides... Uh, this right here, and then the fact that her last name is redacted. Um, those are really the only clues we have to go on, and it's been... Let's see, what, this came out in, what, 2011? 2007? I don't know, around there. So it, it's been a while, and Valve isn't real great with uh, going past three, as we all like to joke. So who knows? Who knows? Right, pretty sure. Oh, you have another clue? Please do share. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. Oh, it's endgame stuff. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's try this one. Although, I'm actually not sure what you would be referring to. Oddly enough. Ooh. It was not responding for a hot second there. Alright, so we took care of her turrets. So now what's next is the neurotoxin, which is right here. This is the neurotoxin generator. 
bit bigger than I expected. I'm not going to be able to just, you know, push it over. I have to apply some cleverness. Was that your plan, Wheatley? Just to push it over. Maybe if we try really hard. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't quite remember the translation. Um, but yeah, I do know what you're referring to, Brit. Oh no! They all feel pain. No, I feel bad for the little turrets. Can I catch you? Can I? No? All right. Oh, uh, yes, Brit. I already know about that one. I was going to tell that one myself once we got there. No, let me talk it. <laughs> let me talk it. Oh, uh, you're you're not going to get to it because Um Yeah, see, I knew you were going to say it anyway. Um. Oh, come on. Why can't I? I'm trying to hit that. There we go. Um, where? It, wait, is it? No, it's just off. Come on. Come on, let me, let me hit the other wall. Oh, I do have to open the door first. Oh, the button. The big... Okay, now it's lined up. It wasn't lined up before. There we go. Yeah, so normally... Uh, portals wouldn't work on a moving, um, whatchamacallit, um, portals wouldn't be able to work on a moving platform, and they don't within the game engine. So, uh, as Britt told us earlier, I believe, um, the idea was that those panels are in fact staying still. The level itself is moving, which is just absolutely ridiculous. And then the other fun fact she was talking about, in case of implosion, look directly at implosion, because people would finish up with this right here, and then just go ahead and straight up leave, and... Oh, for a second I thought that was, like, one of the circular turrets. Um, oh, we're still pretty early into the game, Sophie. I mean, we're a good... Two and a half hours in, but I'm not going particularly fast through these. Wait, has it been two and a half hours? Because the last stream was two, or five episodes in. Each about episode is about an hour long. Wait, that's not right. I don't know, but we're still not that far, and we haven't hit old aperture yet. But um, right, yeah. So people would finish up here leave they wouldn't see the implosion because this is a really cool implosion that's kind of stuff is uh hard to render and they did a good job and yes yeah, so it's portal 2. ah just missed that pipe and now we have the lovely zoom in feature there we go so let's look nice and hard at this Implosion, shall we? Oh, there it goes. Yes. Ooh, goodbye, neurotoxin. Oh yeah, that's that's really early on, Sophie. Yeah, so I hope you don't mind being spoiled then. Oh, this is a fun bit riding the tube. Yes, I can look around. We we are finally doing this.
Man, look how far down it goes. Oh, more foreshadowing. Oh no, we got separated. Oh, Stephen Merchant. You were, yeah, Stephen Merchant is... Um, why does it keep not responding for a few seconds? That's, that's not a good sign. Yeah, he voices Wheatley. Very funny British comedian. Ah. Oh, the music is playing. And look. There she is. She is in there. And this is actually where we were. Is this the same hallway or is this a different hallway? I don't think this is the hallway we originally came in unless something happened to it. Have I mentioned how dark it is? It is extremely dark. Let me turn up the... Uh, it didn't really do anything. Oh, right, of course, they have that blinking thing over there for a reason. Look! It's the GLaDOS emergency shutdown and cake dispensary! And it's unlocked! What luck! This is going to be so easy, guys! Oh. Oh no. Guys, it was a trap. Oh, it's getting very small in here. It's getting very small in here. I'm not a turkey fan, so that wouldn't have worked, actually. Oh, oh, the floor is going away. The floor is going away. No, oh. Yeah, these guns. Oh, we're back in the little, um, chamber. Can I still flush this? Look! It's the turrets! Oh, they are catching on fire and exploding. Heck yeah, I was. No, that sounds like a good idea to me. We'll just stare at each other. Staring contest, go! Oh! There's a familiar voice. Oh, let's see if I can catch him this time. Can I catch him this time? Uh, not quite. All right, let's do this. Yes. I am a stalemate associate. Am I now? I wonder what happens if I stand here. Should I be standing? Okay, they teleported me out. No, I was gonna say. No, 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 no. Ugh, that sounded like it hurt. 
Yay, we did it! Game's over, guys! We're going home, we're getting out of Aperture, game's over, thanks for coming! Oh yeah, you, you're a big robot. Oh, she's right there. Oh, that was the last bag of confetti, the good stuff. You are using this translation software incorrect. Please consort a manual. Consult. See you guys, we did it. It's gonna be great. It's over. We can go home. That's a good sign, right? Jolly happy laughter. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, n no. Yeah, I, I did. I really did, though. Kinda. You're gonna get in my face? I'm going to get in your face. I haven't said a word! Whoa, backing up. Oh, I can't pick her up. Um, yes, actually. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we actually hit this part earlier than planned, which is really good. Oh, look at that change in logo. Aperture Science Innovators. Science of the future. Oh, best part, best part. Wait, how many feet was that? We passed one. It says... Uh, did that say 426 or 4,260? Oh no, did we die? Is the game over? We returned into mashed potato? It's the bird! Now with more polygons. Oh, there I went. Look guys, we're alive! And there went GLaDOS. 
So, wow, okay, so we are now in the one of the deepest layers. It still goes further down. This place is so huge. It's so huge. Like, every time I get to this part, like, it still kind of, like, hits me. Like, it's kind of like looking up at space and going, oh my god, this is infinite. That's how big this thing feels. But yeah, I love that part with the potato. Oh good, my slow clap processor made it into this thing. <coughs> Hopefully that wasn't too loud. What? Your painting? I have not seen your painting, Brit. Yes, my phone can get videos. See, isn't that, like, so convenient? They put lights directly onto the, uh, spots I need to put my portals. Good game design. Also, you'll notice the texture here. Um, it's supposed to look like that one because it's, it's wet, uh, down here. But second of all, this is actually a, was once a salt mine before it was turned into Aperture Science. So that is salt we're looking at. GLaDOS has a lot of that. Oh man, I remember getting to this part the first time. I was freshman in college, I was sitting on my bed, I was eating these little... Like, whenever I'd play Portal, i get these little... This was my first time playing also, by the way. Um, uh, the... These little microwavable cups of broccoli and cheese by a green giant and I'd be eating those and playing this and like I just remember like I got chills man and this is why the zoom feature is very handy but yeah we're going to be introduced to a new character actually very soon it's very exciting Keep out. Do not enter. Condemned testing area. Luckily, I have my portal gun. And, um, I'm shooting at that. Or not. I'm shooting at this. Oh, no, wait. It's right through here. Um... Okay, I've got that, and then up there, there it is. Gotta. This is the hardest part about um, uh, about this section of the game, which is actually a huge chunk of the game. To be honest, about half is this isn't like you're not in a testing environment most of the time. You, I mean, you are, but you have to get from test to test which in itself is a puzzle because oh my phone went off um because it's like there is not quite clear uh there's not a clear path you have to figure out where to go next and it, it does get a little confusing and you do have to look around your environment quite a bit cuz like i said you've got this zoom function now so stuff can be like all the way out of sight or you have to look above you or below you okay good we're on the other side now okay yeah I'll, I'll watch it in just a second Um, because if it's what I think it is, it is going to be a little spoilery. Let me, let me... Oh man, there's so much ambient noise in this level. Always creeped me out. 
Let me just mute it for just a second. Okay, so it was what I thought it was. There's the, the character that we're about to meet uh, has a portrait of him. Um, and Britt has a copy that talks. Alright, so if you go back to... What? I'm not still muted. Oh, that's you're, it's coming in late. I was going to say, I unmuted. Um, yeah, so if you go back a couple of videos to, um, what was it? Um, I can't tell, did it take? There we go. Yeah, and also they did have, like, these old marked out doors here. Good game design. Gives you good hints. Um... Yeah, as I was saying, um, uh, if you go back to one of the older videos with the original Portal game, there is a test similar to this where you had to press buttons simultaneously uh, on either side, and that does prep you for this. Now, this is an easier version than what the test had, so like I said, I would played this first, so that test when I came to it was actually uh, fairly easy. Oh, except I tripped on the portal, so that didn't quite work. Ah! I got stuck. There we go. Now this is so cool to watch, because this thing is huge. Like, a vault opens in Fallout 4, and it's like, oh yeah, cool, let's watch this. But like, this is massive, man, and you can feel it. Like I said, they do a very, very good job of uh, portraying depth and scale in this game. Yeah, and look at that. That whole big giant seal was just hiding that little itty bitty door. Apparently there's chairs here. I don't know why. They would seal up those chairs. Alright, yeah. Next big section. Exciting. New chapter. I mean, we've been on this chapter for a bit, actually, but... Exciting. Oh, I have to fix the chat real quick. There we go. Old-fashioned doors. Look, here we are in the salt mines. I believe this is the bottom level. I can't remember if it actually goes further down than this or not. Very unstable back here. Very dangerous. Look at that. That is the first of many test spheres. See, look at that light right there. Right where I need to go. Here we are. New character.
to science. So yeah, that is Cave Johnson, owner, founder, and CEO of Aperture Science, ladies and gentlemen. Or as should I say, Aperture Science Innovators. All right, so we need to get up there. So lots. Of, there's going to be a lot of falling and jumping and momentum and etc. Uh, for quite a bit, actually. Gotta make sure we're on the right surface there. Um, am I doing this right? I mean, I think so. Or... No, I need to... Now that's the main lift, which is non-operational. I need to go through that circle and up through there. Okay, I think I just... Uh, okay, so I'm going to fall through the orange, so I need to... No, that wasn't it. I've, I'm sorry, I've forgotten. Um... No, I need to get up there is what I need to do. I don't want to fall off. I want to... Okay, okay. I think I remember what to do now. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm supposed to make it into that. Um... And then line myself up just so. Oh, nope, that didn't work. No, I... Ah, I remember having... Right, because I need to fall from here. That was it. That was it. Okay. Yeah, right here, because there's the other board. Okay, and then we just fall. There we go, made it. Luckily, the Mantis men are no longer here, but yes, you will notice that these are pre-recorded messages. Uh, Cave Johnson is no longer with us. These are way, way, way from the past. Uh, that is a picture of him right there. That's a picture of him when uh, we first start, because we're at the bottom of the salt mine currently. So the earlier tests are at the bottom, and then things get older, or rather newer, uh, as we go up. So, look, Spirit of Idaho, National Potato Board Award. Spirit, yeah, so, again, with the potatoes. Yep, best new science company, 1947. So, we are in the late 40s right here. Um, also, Aperture Science started out as shower curtains. Uh, four years prior to this. Uh, fi four years prior to, um... Uh, starting Aperture Science, anyway. Um, yeah, see, local entrepreneur, entrepreneur by Salt Mine, industry to Upper Michigan. So it's somewhere in Michigan. I don't know. Top 100 applied science companies, and Aperture Science is at number two. 
and Defense Contractor of the Year, runner-up, and runner-up again in 54. Who wants to take a guess who got first place uh, for all three of those awards? Yep, that's right, Black Mesa. Alright, so we are not going to be fighting the Mantis Men. We are going to be testing the... Was it Propulsion Gel or Repulsion Gel? Either way, it's the Blue Gel. Here we go. As you can see, there's another speaker there on the elevator. There are speakers everywhere. So yeah, we are heading up to the first testing sphere, which you can see right above us. This thing's pretty big. And it's only the first of many. Like I said, this place is huge. It's so huge. It's so huge. I keep saying that. And... I, I gotta stop, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, that fall will kill you, so don't do that. Um, there's so many places to die in this place, just by, like, falling off accidentally. Uh, I believe I want to go over there. Oh yeah, you get an achievement for listening to all of these. Just a heads up, we're gonna have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. And one more. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed Experiment that discontinued. gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. So those two were vitrified. This one was not, and that was the one with the superconductor. I have no clue what the word vitrified means. Um, let's see. So, this is where things get tricky because, uh, like me, you may be wondering, huh, where the heck do I go from here? I have no idea. Uh, because it's just open. Like, you can see where you are and where you need to get to. And I believe I need to get to Pump Station Alpha. So,. And luckily, I turned around uh, and saw that there. Otherwise, I would have been stuck, like I have in the future. Um, that elevator shaft is what's going to be helping us, actually. So I need to get that back over there. But then if that's over there... Um okay, but luckily, I can see it from here. So there we go. Orange... And I need to go down a flight so the elevator is not in my way. Oh, vitrified. Uh, to convert something into glass or a glass-like substance, supposed typically by exposure to heat. Okay, that actually doesn't help because I think they used the word wrong. Although, to be honest, uh, they're using the word aperture wrong as well. Cave Johnson literally just picked the name Aperture Science because it sounded scientific-y. Although, that was the name of the shower company first, too. Uh, aperture Shower Curtains. Okay, so I want to shoot the blue portal. <sighs> Those jumps are always intense. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is we gotta turn these pumps on so we can actually use the blue gel. And then need to get up there. Okay, so now, from here, we need to get to the elevator, which I think we can do just by, yeah, just by following the pipe and walking over. Yeah, 
How long have I been streaming for? It's been an hour already. Wow, that went by fast. Okay, so since we hit an hour, um, I'm trying to break up these episodes for YouTube on separate chunks. So I'm going to do a quick outro here, as long as Cave isn't talking at this exact moment. Ooh, got bright. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his life. Tried to. But informative. Or so I'm told. Okay, so gonna do a quick outro. Uh, thanks everybody for watching on YouTube. I'll get this episode up as soon as I can. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. I'll be sure to get that out right after the next one. Uh, so have a very portal Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy December if you're not celebrating anything. So thanks for coming. Bye.